China finds a new way to get rid of rubbish on power lines. China is using drones to burn down trash stuck to power lines. But is that safe? The fire spewing drone emits flames via a one meter long tube. It uses liquefied petroleum gas for fuel. The drone can be operated by maintenance workers remotely. China's power company Flames can burn up trash stuck to wires within 15 minutes, which isn't a long enough duration to cause damage to the aluminum coated power wires. The power company says this method is not only more efficient to get rid of waste stuck to power lines, but it also reduces the risk of maintenance workers being electrocuted by high voltage lines. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Here are more stories about drone technology. ambulance drone could help save lives faster. A Texas-based design firm has illustrated its idea for an ambulance drone, which could help transport patients faster and more efficiently than regular ambulances or helicopters. The ambulance drone is modeled after a standard quadcopter. It is roughly the size of a compact car. The drone can follow a GPS signal or be controlled by a pilot. It is able to travel above traffic and other obstacles on the ground, allowing the drone to arrive at its destination faster than regular ambulances. Given its relatively small size, the drone is able to land almost anywhere. There is enough space inside for one patient and a medical worker. It can either travel on autopilot or be controlled by a pilot remotely in the event of difficult takeoffs and landings. A single pilot can also control an entire fleet of ambulance drones remotely. Although the company believes the ambulance drone is a feasible concept, it admits the cost for each device could be in the million dollar range. Selfie drone recognizes faces. A Chinese startup has developed a drone equipped with facial recognition technology that can be used to take aerial selfie shots. The Hover Camera Passport can fly up to 17 miles per hour and climb as high as 16 feet. The device can be remotely controlled by a smartphone. One battery charge powers up to 10 minutes of flight time. The camera can capture images from all angles and automatically follows the user using its face detection software. The Hover Camera Passport retails for 599 US dollars, which is much cheaper than other drone cameras on the market with similar functions. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Amazon to deliver packages by parachute. Soon we may receive our packages just like Katniss Everdeen did, with tiny packages parachuting to the ground. Amazon is proposing to fly its drones above customers' homes and release their packages mid-air. Once the package is released, the drone would monitor the item's descent. The drone signals the deployment of equipment, such as a parachute, to guide the package to land at a desired location. Amazon made its first drone delivery in the UK in December last year. Only 13 minutes passed between when the item was ordered to when it was delivered. 